Well, we looked at the entry level knight, now let's look at the core knight of Bretonia, the knight of the realm. So, once a knight out has accomplished a task, they will be made a knight of the realm! The knight will now serve the duke of the province and tends to rule the village or town or other part of the domain they have come from, accepting the feudal dues and tithes of the peasants from a smaller but still quite nice keep or a lucky castle. The knight will be given the role of defending the domain by themselves, and will be expected to be able to fend off attackers to his domain, whether they be single monsters or a group of raiders single handedly. Still, if things get tricky, they can call upon the men at arms and bowmen from the peasants in their domain to assist. Still, if a threat is too large, then the knight believes they can handle, they then may send a signal from their tower. Then, all the other knights of the realm domain that can see this will honourably ride out to assist the knight and defend their province. Still, it's not uncommon for other knights in the domain to have seen the threat and rush to assist beforehand anyway. Knights of the realm tend to rule for many years and have their own retinue of knights errant who tend to be their own grown up children. Usually once one of these children has completed their task, it is common practice for the knight of the realm to pass ownership of the domain to the son, though sometimes some of the domain will take their place if the knight has no children for example. A knight then begins the next part of knighthood, becoming a questing knight. So yes, quite a stubble from the errant, and why there are quite a few errants around is yeah, a good deal if you succeed. Now onto the rules, starting with 5th edition. Now, the Knights of the Realm came in at 39 points a model, with a minimum size of 5 models, but no max. Stat wise they were Movement 4, Weapon Skill 4, Blessed Skill 3, Strength 4, Toughness 3, Runes 1, Initiative 3, Attacks 1, Leadership 7, so hitting and hurting a lot more than the Knights Errant, though they rode the Bretonian Warhouse still, which was still Move 8, from a Skill 3, Blessed Skill 0, Strength 3, Toughness 3, Runes 1, Initiative 3, Attacks 1, Leadership 5, yeah, get to see this horse mentioned a lot. Equipment wise, they had the exact same look as an Errant, with heavy armour, shield, lance and sword, and the musician standard with 3 as well. Now, Unlike Knights Errant, who were limited to one magic banner for one unit in the army, Knights of the Realm could always have a magic banner. Very handy. Apart from that, they had the Knights Virtue, so ignore panic tests caused by destroyed or fleeing peasant units, and use the Lance Formation as standard for Petonian Knights. So yeah, they were pricier than Errants, but hit enemies easier and harder being strength 6 on the charge. Still, on to 6th edition. So, there are now 24 points a model, and a core choice. There were units of 5 to 15, and you had to have at least one unit in your army, no exceptions. Statline wise, while the horse was the same, they actually had some changes. So we're now Movement 4, Weapon Skill 4, Blessed Skill 3, Strength 3, Toughness 3, Wounds 1, Initiative 3, Attacks 1, Leadership 8. So they lost their Strength bonus over the Errants, but had a higher leadership now. Equipment wise, again, hasn't changed but one model in the unit got a free upgrade to a Gallant for plus one attack, so handy. The Musician's standard cost points now as well, costing 8 points for the Musician and 16 for the standard. Also, while any unit could still have a magic banner, the cost was limited to 25 points now. Special rules wise, they had the Knight's Vow, so ignore peasants for panic tests, but had lost the impetuousness of being errant, so no random charges for them, always handy. And that is the Knights of the Realm. The strength decrease was noticeable in 6th edition onwards, but still a solid core choice with a bit more control than the errants. Still, on to the next piece of the knight's journey next time with the cresting knights.